Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. What would a Sunday be here in the North Georgia mountains without a little bit of fog and overcast here? We're finally getting some fall weather cooling off. I think it's about 70 degrees today. Uh, I mowed my grass a little too low compared to my neighbor. Got the Halloween cobwebs that are natural. And of course I've got a cat stumbling all over my feet. But what brings me here today is this little baby that of course I picked up at auction last week. 2001 Mazda Protégé ES with a five speed manual. I picked this car up. Um, I do all my bidding online, so I'm always taking a big gamble when I do these things because I don't drive or check out the cars. I just go by the condition report. And I usually pull a car fax. Uh, this little Mazda was bought in 2002 by the second owner when it had 12,000 miles on it. And it currently has 190. Uh, good Carfax, been well maintained, got service records on there. And it shows one minor accident to the front. And that is it right there. If you can see that dent, it looks like they might have rear ended and ran up under something just a little bit taller than this was. But, um,. It was close. I got lucky. Just missed the headlight and the grill and all that. This car runs and drives great. I was tickled to death. Um, it's got a pretty clean exterior other than that bump right there. Um, not really beat up. I mean, it's got a couple of little dings here and there. We got a scratch there, a little ding there but it's rolling on some brand new fat Yokohamas, which that's a bonus. I mean, that's $500 worth of new tires here. Check out the tread. They look good, but um, this is kind of an unusual find. You don't see many of these in decent condition anymore. You can see the bumper's got some nicks and scratches and a little scuff there. But overall, it's a pretty straight little car. Um, but of course, for 500 bucks, you know, it does need a few things. Um, other than the little bump on the front. Let me find my key and we'll check it out. Okay. So the interior is really clean, really clean. Um, as you can see, door panel is non-smoker, no burn, seats in good shape. The interior is in really good shape. Um, no unusual wear or tear. Back seat's good. Headliner's clean. I mean, it's just a real clean car on the inside. Um, owner took really good care of it. Oh, got to hit the unlock button. I've got these, uh, these door panels. I don't know if the heat has done it, has caused them to kind of shrivel up and pull away up here at the top. This one over here has done it a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, I got the books, manuals, um, complete, uh, didn't get any, let's see, I got, yeah, I got all four, four floor mats, I think. Yeah, there's the back seat. I need to throw those back there. But yeah, I mean, got a pretty clean trunk, got the little, uh, Mini spare there. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. All the tools are in place. Um, you know, of course, it's been a Georgia car since new. So it doesn't have any rust anywhere. 
um, rust free car let's do a cold start so like I said I got the little bump bump on the front and what is a good old auction car without a check engine light <laughs> every one I buy has a check engine light automatic well automatic down pretty cool I think for a inexpensive car no one I love this steering wheel it's got you know good grip on it it's not worn out um, like I said 190 let's do a little cold start here yeah buddy yep got check engine light I've already pulled the codes and I've got I can't remember I've either got two or three codes and uh, I got a new code reader that actually tells you what the code means and I didn't really understand but it has of something of sort to do with emissions of course um, but it has no ill effect on the running and driving of the engine the engine just runs so smooth let's pop the hood runs so so smooth um, previous owner I really took good mechanical care of this car but there's Mazda's little uh, two-liter double overhead cam 16 valver as you can see she just hums looks like it's got some fairly new belts on it let's do the little vibration test here I could see the camera wobbling, so I think we have a little vibration this time. It's got a fairly new battery. The only thing I'm not sure about is when or if this timing belt has been changed underneath here. Uh, one thing I did learn about this particular engine, though, is that it is a non-interference engine. So that's a big bonus. Uh, if the timing belt goes, no big deal you just put a new one on but I imagine with 190 K and um, and it's showing a really good Carfax with good service history I'm sure it's been changed at some point but it's just not reported on the Carfax but all my fluids I mean I got good-looking coolant uh, fresh oil uh, everything you know no leaks it doesn't leak a drop um, I do have some sun burn up here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a, a moist morning. But I do have some sun burn on this hood, on this uh, roof up here. I don't know if I can, damn, I don't know if I can break out the, uh, the polish and make it a little better or not. But, um. I'm not going to go very far because I'm almost out of gas. I'm going to keep it in the neighborhood. Plus, got a good old five-speed manual. And it shifts so good, man. This is a great shifting little car. Clutch has got good feel, good take up. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. I'll do a separate video. Do a freeway run. But, um, yeah, this little engine just pulls so good. It's got good power. Um, I mean, I've drove it home from the Atlanta auction, ran 80 to 90 the whole way. Um, I do have a little clunking sound coming from the right front corner. Um, I thought maybe I had some loose bushings or you know just some worn suspension parts so I jacked the car up and uh, took pop that uh, that wheel and tire off over there got in there and looked around and the uh, passenger side 
CV joint is, um, or the axle shaft or whatever, is worn completely out. The boots uh, just totally disintegrated. All the dope is uh, leaked out of it, and you can actually see uh, where the metal is starting to disintegrate. So that thing is about to go at any minute. So, um, but it, it runs and drives straight. It's just making a lot of noise. Um, I found a new one for $65 online this week. I'm gonna pull it off and take the old one out and put it in. And then I'm gonna try and troubleshoot this uh, check engine light. Um, but I may keep this car. I'm gonna need a, uh, another little daily driver. Um, about to hand off the uh, the white Rogue to my daughter that's turning 16, and gonna give my wife the the sport wagon. Um, so uh, I'm looking for an inexpensive third car, uh, and. You know, I don't have to do emissions here in North Georgia, so um, I'm not. I may not worry about that check engine light because it does not affect drivability at all. Runs really good. It's got good cold AC. Radio works, like I said, uh, you know, everything just works on it. Um, power windows, let's see, you know what? That's right, this power window over here does not work, but the other windows do. Yeah, back windows down, power locks work, the cruise control works. All the headlights work, air works, so uh, I do have a power window over there. It's got a bad switch or something, but anyway, I just thought I'd do a little quick uh, walk around and uh, look for another video. If you're interested, I'll do a little freeway run. Uh, this thing's pretty cool on the interstate. It will flat out move, buddy, for such a little small car, but um, yeah. That's it. My 2001 Mazda Protégé 5 speed with a power moonroof. Pretty unusual find these days. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, y'all have a great day. Peace.